The outside world's attention may have been focused mostly on Homs for the last few days, the attempts to get Red Cross aid into Baba Amr. But it's starting to become clear that a far worse, much wider humanitarian crisis is taking place across Syria. As the Syrian army moves against different towns at the same time, the potential grows for large numbers of people to have to move either inside the country or to flee as refugees. These are just some of the people who fled the town of Qusair for Lebanon when it was attacked by the Syrian army. We left as the bombardment was going on over our heads. We left in a panic. We don't know why they were shelling us. The shelling was everywhere, left, right, everywhere. We already have two abandoned schools that are hosting some 200 persons in the north. And we have an additional uh, number of schools that have been identified by shelter experts whom we have uh, uh, hired previously with our partners to, to, to assess what shelters can host more people. Glimpses of Syrian towns and villages loaded onto the internet show communities emptied of people, their homes burned and charred, perhaps deliberate attempts at driving people out. With comparisons being made to the Balkans or Chechnya, it all starts to feel a bit familiar. The most obvious expression of the problem for people who can't get out is the lack of absolute basics in so many places. Women and children speaking in terrified voices of struggling to cope. Bashar al-Assad killed children. We ran here. There are 15 families in three houses. We have no clothes. We've got no food. They cut off our water. They cut off our food. They cut off the electricity. They cut off everything. What more do you want? All of which means the humanitarian response to the Syrian crisis is certainly going to have to be far greater and more urgent than it seemed even a few days ago. A particular concern is becoming the long-term impact on children whose physical injuries may end up being matched by long-term mental problems as a result of post-traumatic stress. This poor little boy can't stop shaking. Yet any concerted humanitarian effort inside Syria would have to go hand in hand with a stop to the fighting, and there's not much sign of that. Syrian State TV ran these pictures without either comment or irony. People in downtown Damascus going shopping in the evening, the capital looking like any other city in the Middle East. It's not really clear if these people know what's going on in parts of their country, the extent to which it seems to be collapsing from within. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera.